Professional firefighters are expected to get their gear on in about 60 seconds, a threshold I'm not sure I could ever meet. And then there's the 45 pounds of equipment that leave you hot and sweaty before you've even flaked a hose, as they call it. That's the easy part. Try going upstairs in pitch black with only the hose to guide your next step. Then there's the victim that weighs 300 pounds who must be dragged to safety, not to mention the heat, the dark, the smoke, the competing voices. It is mentally and physically exhausting. Oh, that is new, new lease on life. And any more, fighting fires is just one element of the job, especially now that Kansas City firefighters are being trained as paramedics. Time is the key. Basic life support and advanced life support are the keys. Go, go, go. Four and five, good job. Paramedic Kelly Ock took us on a heart attack call at someone's office. Brad, we should hold on hold his air. Where it seemed like he and his partner were doing five things at once. After performing 200 chest compressions, I was ready for a break. Not an option for a patient with no pulse. What we generally run is, is the person on, on the third floor in the back bedroom or in the bathroom that's at three o'clock in the morning. The it, it can get very, very intense. This door, it's gonna be a little harder now because the skin got ripped from the inside of the door. Car accidents are another staple for firefighters. The jaws of life can peel metal like a banana, cut car bolts like scissors to paper, but the tools are heavy, the angle is often awkward, and time is always a factor. It can take anywhere from uh, five minutes to pop a door open to 90 minutes to actually uh, remove the components of the car to extricate somebody. Go ahead and lower. Less common but highly dangerous are the high angle rescues. You like this headline, Paul? Reporter saves councilman? You bet. <laughs> My mission? Rescue a Liberty City Councilman on the third floor and bring him to the ground. When it's my turn to be rescued, I have to rely on the competition. Channel 5 reporter Justin Smith. And no, he doesn't leave me dangling. That feels good to be on the ground again. For all the technical rescue disciplines, it takes us about a year and a half, almost two years, to fully train a firefighter. The impression you're left with is that digging ditches would be less physically demanding and obviously safer than what firefighters do. Yet safety is the one word Bible preached and practiced by a department dedicated to each other and all others. Rob Lowe, Fox 4 News, working for you in Kansas City, Missouri.